do you want to do defend this wrestler, man? Do you want to do you want to put Goldberg on the map right now? Because we already talking about legends coming back, and he's he's been the main legend making his comeback all the time now. Oh hey man, since we're at it, man, let's just talk about the guy who's coming back and not do a damn thing, aka Bill the Trash Goldberg, man. Let's talk about this place, this trash, man. How do you defend this clown, man? How? No, seriously, answer me because I'm like looking at this man every every week because I'm watching. I'm slowly watching a lot of uh, WCW wrestling. Pretty much, this man is a pretty much one for one stone cold Steve Austin. His whole gimmick was I'm supposed to be the badass to come in and walk in and beat everybody up and leave. But then you realize something. There is no substance. He can't barely talk on the mic. He can't do anything right. And then you want him around your top talent when he injures them? Like, bro, who wants Goldberg? Who likes Goldberg, man? Like, how? How? And then it's like, do do, do do. It's like this. They gave they. I say the best thing about Goldberg is his entrance. Once he gets to the ring, it all goes downhill, man. I look at Goldberg. I'm like, man, Edge gave me a better spirit than you, bro. There's nothing. There is nothing favorable about you, bro. And it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you could have done so much more with this character, of Goldberg. But instead, what do we do? We we let this man get jumped, and then what? give the belt to Kevin Nash just so he can give it back to Hogan like bro it was a clown show and then you went to WWE you took the belt from the rock if I'm not mistaken and did nothing god dang it man and then on out of notice it's like bro I don't I think well Goldberg be meat heading it up too, too much man he breaks his own hand in the middle of his own promo how do you do that bro and then on top of that let's talk about when he faced it uh what's it called undertaker old bird versus elder taker at duke in the middle of the desert man like god dang it he he could have taken out your mans your favorite wrestler the undertaker he could have eventually eliminated him written his name in the death note eliminated (laughs) deleted that was one of the worst how do you injure yourself Oh my god, oh my god, man. Like I just don't get it, man. That was the that was a horror show, man. Cause I remember I watched that just because I can just so I can see what's going on with WWE. Because I was getting in motion. I was like, Goldberg should never step in the ring again, man. Never. God dang it. And then just to put the cherry on top, man. He was the man to eliminate Bret Hart. I understand Bret doesn't hold no hard feelings or grudges about it, but I do. Because God dang it, man. It just shows that this man is nothing but an unsafe clown show ready to happen. And the fact that people like him is crazy to me. And every time I watch, I was never a fan of Goldberg, man. Ever. And then I even got to talk to my stepdad about Goldberg. Man, I found out the streak was, was inflated. Found out they were pumping in noise for this man. And then I found out they were just handing out free merch for the dude. They were trying to artificially create a Stone Cold Steve Austin, but with none of the techni- technical talent or the mic skills. You just had pretty much an athlete out there who can barely be an athlete. Congratulations. You played yourself. God dang it, man. Now, def- defend Goldberg. Give me a Goldberg match. Give me something that makes Goldberg Let me Let me watch. play this for you first. Come on now. Let me play No, this don't play one. that clown-ass freaking <laughs> theme song. Oh, man, he did. <laughs> There you go. There we go. Can they knock on the door, John? That intensity builds up. He busts yeah, through so the door. The police force to come out and escort him. Jesus he, Christ! He busts through the door. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk about Goldberg with the theme song playing in the background. Oh, actually, God, here we go. <sighs> Just bring it. Bring it in. Just oh. Breathe it in. He brings the intensity. Goldberg brings intensity that nobody can ever match in the history of wrestling. Goldberg's intensity is on a whole nother level. You talked about Edge's spear? Edge spear? Come on now. He ain't got no spear like Goldberg. The Goldberg spear, this man was this man was decapitating people. This man was was taking people out. That was a spear from the NFL. 
Goldberg is on another level. Now, I can't, I'm not going to talk about the Goldberg nowadays because Goldberg nowadays, he's inspiring his son. I'm talking about the Goldberg I grew up watching in WCW. That Goldberg, now that Goldberg was the man. That Goldberg, come on now, the entrance, that is one of the greatest entrances of all time. Come on now. All style, no substance. Like, the, like, come on now, the man is getting hit by Pyro. Like, what are we saying right now? Can you and stand in the midst of Pyro and, and get hit? Can you stand in the midst of Pyro and get hit? Can you do yeah. that? Goldberg would come out there and he would just establish a, a, a different intensity level. Now, the man, I can't say that he's had the greatest matches of all time. Okay, Goldberg, I'm turning down the music. I can't say that he has the greatest uh, entrance music. I mean, the greatest matches of all time. But people don't talk. I mean, I actually like that first run with the WWE. You said he beat The Rock. I think he beat Triple H a couple times. During that time, the Elimination Chamber got introduced. And that one of the first intro, the, I think the, maybe that was the second elimination the chamber. Second with, one yeah, yeah, was, uh, RVD, Kane, and uh, Shawn Michaels and Triple H were in because this was the uh, the return of Shawn. Yeah, that was the first one, but the second yeah. one, the second one, I can make an argument that that's the best elimination chamber match out of all the elimination chambers in history because Goldberg, I think he speared Chris Jericho through the through the glass. I remember Goldberg just came out wrecking havoc, and he was supposed to win that match, but you had Evolution still. You had Evolution stopping Goldberg from getting over. I actually like that time with Goldberg. He ended up eventually beating up. He ended up. He ended up eventually beating Triple H, becoming the heavyweight champion. Um, Goldberg. He didn't have the best match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but then they rewrote that because he came back and then he fought Brock Lesnar again. He rewrote his wrongs. Now, the Undertaker one, man, that one was a little bit disappointing. But we ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk about that. We're going to talk hey, about man. the good times with Goldberg. Or we can talk about how he squashed the Fiend and then did nothing with it. Oh. You do that. I'm more than happy to do that. Oh, see, now when you bring up the Fiend, that goes back to the changes again. WWE need to make some changes with that one. Now we ain't even got the Fiend no more. But Goldberg, we still got Goldberg, though. That's all we need. <laughs> That's all we need. We ain't got the Fiend no more. We ain't got Braun Strowman. But guess what? We still got Goldberg. Oh my God. We still got Goldberg. Now, I will defend Goldberg to the end because that man... I grew up watching Stone Cold was my favorite wrestler in the WWE and Goldberg was my favorite wrestler in the WCW. Goldberg was, man, you know how many times I would just get intense? I would just, I will get hyped up. I will get motivation watching Goldberg. Come on now. Goldberg, there got to be some Goldberg fans out there. Some real ones. Uh, how about this, man? I need you to give me two good Goldberg matches that don't count, that don't have Diamond Dallas Page in it. And I'll and I'll sit there and wait and watch them with you. Because um, I don't think he really does have a good match. We still may end up getting another good Goldberg match. <laughs> you know what's funny though? I got the match of text take some time out of my take some time and just go scour the internet just so I can go find Goldberg versus uh Brock Lesnar part two. Because uh, I haven't seen it. Part two was actually pretty decent. I mean, it was because uh, I remember he uh he steamrolled Brock in two minutes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Which is kind of ridiculous because Brock was steamrolling everybody else in that similar amount of time. And then, did, how long was their match at Mania? I think that one was about 10, 12 minutes or something like that. That match was actually probably Goldberg's best match since, like, during this time of him coming back. Like, that was probably his best match because that match actually, they did it right. Like, they did it right. Like, Goldberg spears him through the barricade. Brock, there was actually some good moments in that. Like, like I'll, I'll give that match actually ain't bad that one's better than the first one for sure and then it's probably his best match since he's come back actually so you could, yeah you could check out that one that one ain't bad it ain't as super it ain't as like quick as the when he steamrolled brock too so that that one i definitely would recommend i definitely recommend i mean i can't say it's a great match because i mean my standards of great matches is like seth rollins versus edge at SummerSlam. like now that's a great match like but Goldberg, Goldberg gives you good moments. I don't know if he gives you great matches. He gives you moments that you're gonna remember. So we can we can say it like this: He's there to entertain you, and he's really good at entertaining people. Mm -hmm. 
Come on now. I guess. You're next. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, now. on the injury list, you're damn right. Hey, but he gonna take you out nonetheless. He gonna take you out. That's what his job was. Goldberg's job was to come in there, was to take names and keep on moving and become and and become champion. Get people intense, get people hyped up, spear a couple people, jackhammer a couple couple people, and get up out of there. And that's what he's still doing to this very day. He's still doing it. <laughs> hey, I can't wait to see if his son gonna really commit to being a wrestler. His son gotta get stronger though if he gonna follow uh, Goldberg. I do know the Philip thing I like. I do like about Goldberg. He actually does run a gym down here, somewhere around here in Atlanta. You know, you know, he's actually helping people train and get nice. I would like to see his son car make like a name for himself. Just don't. I'd rather him go to USC and you know get a couple wins under his belt and then come to like the WWE or AEW or Ring of Honor. You know, do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, shout out to Goldberg, man. You're next, John. So you better watch out because you may end up getting speared through like a little grocery store if you, if you Shoot, see it. <laughs> man. I was two, I was two step and electric slide right off the way, man. He's gonna end up on his I own little bitch. You two step. I want to see you two step. He couldn't, he couldn't hit this man. <laughs> I want to see you two step. 